Okay, so you got about uh, 30 seconds to get your uh, scout prediction in. Has she been seen the last 24 hours or not? If you do not see a predict button at the top of your chat window, refresh your browser and it should show up. You got two choices. It's yep or nope. And I guess we'll find out the results here in a few seconds. Dum, dum, dum. So, lead wise, we need. Okay, we picked this up. So we have a decent amount of fighters now. The victory only has what two? And two. They just don't show up very well because they're dark. So the hunter, the oppressor. That's a bomber. Don't have a lot of bombers here. They have tight defenders though. Pick those up fairly cheap. <laughs> Good for killing other fighters. I don't know if they do have ion cannons though, don't they? They do. So they can deal with the against uh, stuff. More DACA ship? There's no such thing as a DACA ship in Star Wars, damn it. Anyway, Scout Report. Uh, Scout Watch 2021, Part 32, Day Negative 6. Yeah, she's been seen in the past 24 hours. She hasn't been seen once. She hasn't been seen twice. She hasn't been seen three, seen three times. She's been seen four times in the past 24 hours. Three times just this morning. <laughs> three times just this morning she's been seen. She came back, she came by early in the morning, apparently looking for breakfast. She got it. She came by just before or just after we had our breakfast and she got another set session of food. And then she comes by a third time and Mrs. Gimpy's all, I can't believe it. She's back again. And I go, is she looking for food? She goes, yeah. And I go, has she gotten food every time she's come by this morning? She goes, yeah. And I go, and that's why she's back a third time. Stop giving her food. She won't come back so often. <laughs> So yeah, Scout's been seen four times in the last 24 hours she came by. Yeah, so hungry. She's a friggin' pig. Anyway, so has she been seen? Yep, hashtag Mrs. Gimpy's cat. So thank you all for participating. We do this every day at approximately noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT, where you get to guesstimate whether Scout's been seen the past 24 hours or not. So there's some sort of connection to the visits and the free food. I know. Shocking, isn't it? It's an amazing thing. And it's baffling, isn't it? I mean, I just can't figure it out. It makes no sense. Okay, so we're here for looking for... Let's see. No one to hire. Let's see. Now we're good for weapons here. Oh, do we have any quads? Quad laser cannons, eight of them. These are the good point defenses with the better range. So we're going to buy a bunch of these. Basically replace all the regular laser cannons on the victory here. Those. Those are regular quads. Yep, okay, so they're all replaced. All alternating. Okay, that's fine. Until we have these. It's the quad turbo lasers. How Good are those? And where are they? These are the heavy duels. These are 172. The quads are 125. So we want the heavy duels that we have them or at least better. Not enough. Not enough here. Or five no bueno. What are you talking about, Grace? I played that yesterday. Hey, Gray, welcome back. When you give chat food, seems like Scout's getting a good deal. Scout gets fed more often than I do. She gets more fe fed more often than Mickey and Rocket. So, talk to Mrs. Gimpy about that stuff. And nobody want to hire.
heavy duels. These are 273, it's only five. We need six though. Oh, those are underneath. So these are still an upgrade for on these, right? Yeah, that's 125. Seventy three, twenty five. Now those are one seventy two. Eh, put those on. Um, they don't show up the same. They don't show up as well. Anyway, I think we're good there. Hey, Blue Lion, welcome back. Oh, I know it shows that it's more important. Stupid cat. Okay. So this is the shipyard, right? Only 5,400 events. So I'm looking for a good place to store stuff at 5,400 here. And see what Kuat was at. Kuat should be at about ten grand or so. Oh, not even close. Okay, so that means we're going to have a storage area over on Coruscant. Unless, no, this might be as good as Coruscant because it's a big planet too. Let's see. <laughs> Defenses here, 1900. So, Coruscant is the best place to have storage or keep our stuff. Okay. An officer. So, what can you do? She's reckless. She's got range specialization. So, Gwydion, are you awake? You still here? Yep, okay. Are you uh, okay with being this person? Being in charge of our little freighter for the moment? We're gonna make you aggressive. Sure, okay. Look, you get the Captain of Freighter. <laughs> the range specialization. The ballistic and energy weapons deal up to 30% more damage at long range. That means range is over 8, 800. Which is pretty far. Not a thing for you right now, though. Fleets. Anything worth buying? We don't have a whole lot of money left. Can't really buy much of anything. It's okay. Reckless fighter, fighter. Well, it's not reckless anymore. We made her aggressive, and you don't want to be aggressive in that thing anyway. You'll die horribly. Okay, so this is safe stuff. Oh, I guess we can go see who's in the bar. Shift to one feeling, blah, blah. Someone who might be the latest Republic. Nah, that's not going to help me. I need to find a job. Still better than controlling the 
the drug supply? Yeah. Drug supply. Controlling. All in quotes. All in quotes. This guy. So, disrupt the orbital works at uh, wherever for at least 60 days. Target is 13 light years away. 78,000 credits. Oh, I was supposed to be doing something else, wasn't I? I had 30 days to do something. 18 days remain. Oops. <laughs> you need to get up and step away from the computer. That was really bad. Okay, bounty given us crim by criminal, blah, blah, blah. Target is uh, located in Cinderella Prime. I don't think we're going to be able to make this in time. I kind of screwed up. I totally wasn't paying attention. Totally, I forgot that I picked up that mission that was only had 30 day timer on it. Oh well. This is a dangerous uh, thing to do. Okay, screw the timer. There's a derelict ship here we might be able to recover. Or not. I'm not a research station. So, a light freighter. Never mind. Kind of missed. Kind of overjumped by a lot. <laughs> oh well. Again, this is a risky uh, little run here because I'm pretty sure we're at war with the New Republic. Just, just a guess. And this is their home system, so. Fly through there, you know it's going to turn into a storm as soon as we touch it. And who are responsible for shooting the course or plotting the course? Um, my second in command, Lieutenant Vukrules. Pursuing our fleet. Hmm. You think the chance of us taking them? They've got, uh, what is that, eight? Fourteen squadrons, little small ships. I got a nebula. Hmm. Hmm. B wings, X wings. I don't see any Y wings though. Save and try. That's what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> Screw the mission. Let's see if we can get some sound put out of this. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. Huh? If you quite are enjoying ready. what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. You know, I just realized the last few fights, I didn't turn my deflectors on. Look, missiles do wonders to fighters. Wow, okay, well that didn't go well.
Holy crap. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was... That was not good. That was not good at all. Okay, so we do not want to fight them. Looks like he's trying to make me fight him, though. I mean, what's on this thing? He's got 17 medium energy, four small missiles. 17 medium energy to my 16. I actually have better firepower. You just seem to uh, concentrate better there. Let's try that again. This time, he'll be the main target. So our fighters are toast. Oh, he's got something that's messing up the missiles there. Lancer's going to die. That's you, Vukrons, by the way. So he's got something that's... Yes, letting you die. Holding for maximum firepower. Kill these little pests here. Like that. Dum 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 dum. Get them, tight defenders. Shoot. Yes. Dying in my place. We'll see how it goes. Well, you're a squishy little ship, so that's supposed to happen that way. Uh-oh. And I wasn't paying attention, so we lose. That was my fault there. I don't think we're going to win that fight. I don't think we're going to win that fight. Run away, run away, run away, run far away. I am running. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I'm running. 
Memory leak detected. Please use save copy to make a copy of your current save or restart the game over. Otherwise, there is a risk of a crash when trying to save. Wow. Okay. I haven't seen that message before. Miss me. Okay. That was ugly. So I don't think we're going to be successful in that particular mission there. Bounties. Pirate base. Oh, that's right. That's a base we're not going to be able to take out either. Right? Not a lot of bounties in this area. Save Olympus. Faction umpire. It's this one. Paris posted a bounty for bringing uh, Sava, Olympus, and uh, Taurus Pirate to justice. We're going to be hiding out near a barren world in the system of a giant primary star. Orange giant, red giant. Go check that out. Remnants in there. So we need definitely need bigger ships, but we need more money. Is this the problem with the stopping one game that you've been having, you know, many hours and huge fleets in? Going to this different fighting style entirely. Okay, so pirate we're looking for is supposed to be near a barren world and of course there's three in the system and it's not necessarily slow it's just more dangerous well that's what I mean it's a different uh, way of playing a legion battle carrier hmm Battle carrier. That thing's really beat up. We don't have a crew to man it. It's a 14th Legion, too. It'll take forever to get it repaired, so we will just salvage it. So, did you watch the Empire Conf Watch the Empire Conflict so you can swoop in and pick up derelicts? Try to. They haven't really had anything yet, though, I don't think. And they're trying to run, so we shall pursue. Take command. Send in the freighter. The freighter actually has guns on it. <laughs> so. Definitely need more bombers. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough bombers. The ion cannons are nice, but uh, we need more punch there. Saturday and Sunday, August 21st and 22 are the monthly giveaways for August. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about Come the giveaway. On. Thanks for watching. So I killed one ship here, it looks like. These guys are just going to get away. Because the Lancer sucks at intercepting. It's not exactly a good pursuit ship. 
it gets close enough, it's fine, but it's got to get close enough. It's not fast. Need more marauders. Oh, we actually need marauders. Tartans would be good, too. That was a bounty, at least. So I picked up 50, 45 grand there, leveled up. So I want to do this. Oh, Govern Colony. We don't care about that right now. All frigates and destroyers with officers, including the flagship stuff. Where's Transverse Jump? That's what we want. So we're going to get this point first. The ability of the transverse jump, we need that. It's a big deal. And who's not maxed out? Ah, we need to get an experience. Even though we had combat experience a little bit in there. Didn't shoot anything, but close enough. Okay, so that was a uh, bounty. Nothing else is close. Extra commodity stock success. What? Yeah. So this is somebody we can promote. It's aggressive target and analysis, so sure. So there's really nothing going on for the Empire right now. They're at war, but they're not really doing anything. Missile boats, bombers, you know what it is. You know what it means. Oh, wasn't there... Fleet logs, location, research station. That's not that far away. 36 fuel. We're good on fuel. So, we'll go check this out. Research stations are good. You finally got your really beat up acidor that way. Asserter, whatever. You know, you can just find a blueprints and build one. And then throw it in storage for the rest of the game. That's what I did in the other playthrough. For the New Republic, we built an asserter, but it's been in storage since day one. <laughs> brand new, brand new, and just sitting in storage. What are you? Why aren't you moving? Stealth the class transport shuttle? Yeah, well, free stuff out in space. Not to buy or build, though. But building is a legitimate way of doing it, because you have to find the blueprints first. So, why not uh, build? I mean, it's not like you can just crank stuff out from an early game that's uh, farther along. Especially decent stuff. Okay. Science or research stations around here somewhere. Check out the world first. The planet. It's our sensor. Oh, our sensor range sucks. <laughs> Five hundred. Ugh. Let's 
Stop surveying. Yes. Gravity. Again, we can't. We don't really want to do surveys right now because it's kind of expensive. And our sensor range isn't the best either, so we have to fly around quite a bit. Are you in the right system, right? Supposedly I am. Make of a blah. It's supposed to be in here. And there it is on the other side of the black hole we just passed. Okay. So this is going to be fun again. Save here. Okay, so we're going in for some uh, research station stuff. There it is. So, survey data, more experience, all this stuff. Come on, good blueprints. Oh, beta core. Okay. So, uh, ECC amp package, high scatter amplifier, recovery shuttles, yay, uh, extended shields, blah, plasma dynamo. Uh, superconductor flying flanged uh, centerpiece of an industrial system which creates a planetary scale plasma net that enables efficient spectacular extraction of volatiles from the atmosphere of a suitable gas giant increases volatiles production by three units that's pretty big deal okay so missile blueprint package I eh, don't really care about that Viscount prototype uh, class star defender blueprint that is the big uh, New Republic uh, ship. It's like a Super Star Destroyer, New Republic style. And Separatist uh, Weapon Blueprint Package. Oh, okay. The Black Holes have all the good stuff. See? So more... Uh, Jedi uh, Republic Starfighter, E-Wing, are E-Wing, no, E-Wings are crappy, aren't they? They're like a crappier X-Wing. Converter fight, or converted fire fighter bay, another ECCM package, and plasma cannon blueprint. Okay, so all this stuff. Oh, prevent. Oh, we already know that stuff. Aw. Your fighters, converted fire bay, plasma cannons. Okay, um, not there. It doesn't really matter here. So it's a 10-point fighter, and this is a 10-point fighter, too. Oh, for being the first fighter designed entirely under the support of the New Republic. Oh, that explains why it's so crappy. Okay, so this mission accomplished. 
dun, 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 dun. I guess we can go on somewhere else. Not rich for our ore deposits. Does that matter? No. Survey data. I don't care about this. Well, exploring a research station crews found partially accessible memory banks that uh, contain full survey data of the gamma of a volcanic world located. Okay. The world is notable for having rich, rare ore deposits. Thanks, I guess. Distress call. Blah. So another. Oh, that's where we are. That point. probe out there was pretty far away. We're getting farther away from where we want to be. The Empire's really not doing much. Wish we could just call this guy. We'll go visit him, see what he has to say. Even though I think we screwed up the last mission we were supposed to do for him, but it happens. Anyway, happy Saturday. Ugh. A jump, speed up time a little bit, and we'll probably do one more jump. Carrying transportonics and metals to Chandrila. Don't fly through the cloud. Public Trading Company, Convoy, guess what? I got space, so... Can I catch him though? <laughs> Am I fast enough? Looks like we're faster. Uh, okay, so no real warships here. Appears the enemy commander doesn't seem to feel the need to talk to you as comm requests go unanswered. They assume a neutral posture. But we're at war with them. Okay, we need to find more bombers. Go away. Go away. Told you to go away. This thing cranks out the missiles. It, oh, we could have changed that, you know. Wasn't too late. And they're trying to run, so pursue. Okay, we're cool to zero. Claim the fame there. And got them all. Ship recovery. So we could put uh, the Arcotans. Public space cruiser. You hear any good? Burn drive, one medium. Oh, this is a small ship. 
Concert class cruiser. Uh, also known as the Charger C-70 combat refit or the Republic frigate. It's a modified uh, variant of a consular class space cruiser that saw service with the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars, converted from uh, Judicial Forces starships as a part of the Project Supercharger. The combat oriented Charger C 70 featured the new battle armored hull and laser turrets and proved a mainstay of the Republic uh, Navy during the conflict. Hmm. Every you. I don't really care about that one so much. So we got a commission for that. Found a hyperspace storm. So, this thing. Kopesh rocket bomber. No. Okay, this is 10 points. Two protons. Oh, that's right. This is the crappy E wing. Battle meditation. Or X wings. Let's do the X wings. Can't really. No, can't do this here. Scatter amplifier. This is the range of beam weapons. Oh, we don't do beam weapons. Can't do any of that stuff here. So, that'll work for now. It's lacking in uh, some weapons, though. When my turbo is a tenth pointer. I have a feeling we don't have enough for all this stuff. And we have no missiles. It's shocking. Usually pick those up. Medium energy turrets. So we've got what? 15, 25 points to spend. So, not bad, bad for throwing it together out in the middle of nowhere. Again, it's missing missile hard points, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. Got X ones up. So, okay. Here's our salvage ships out in the middle of nowhere. So this is a little bulk freighter. This will give us a little bit of cargo. Can we cover it as is? Yeah, let's cover that. Tanker. Oh, uh, this actually isn't. These are good, inexpensive ships for uh, beginning. They've got cargo and fuel capacity. They're actually really good for their price. And then when you can pick them up for free, even better. This one. Oh, this is a Corellian gunboat. And no damage on it. So, we just expanded our fleet. This was the site of, uh... It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Apparently there was a, some type of Republic fleet that attacked, uh, 
um, um, or an empire uh, trade fleet, it looks like. They got their ass kicked, so we're just uh, collecting stuff there. But we need more crew now. I'm going to mothball these guys for now. Actually, mothball you too. Yeah. Do we need to? No, we don't. Okay, so he's full crew. And where was I headed? Oh, that's right, we're heading down to uh, an imperial planet. What's this over here? Assault cruiser. This is two, one medium energy, five small, one fighter bag. It's an inexpensive little ship. It's not great. We're headed down here. We're actually headed over to Surgat. Good on splash, good on fuel. Luckily that was a trade fleet, not a military fleet. That's lucky there. That was CIS, they would have killed us many times over. Repair our ships. Okay, so. So Separatist Weapon Blueprint, we're going to keep that on, a, on us, that stuff, need the flat cannon, Oops. so that stuff, Email this one, we don't care. Real geometry, self propelled battle droids. Sell those. Crash, broadsword, sell those. Recovery shuttles. Have to learn that. Recovery shuttles. Okay, so we're up to 200 grand. Last one hyperdrive, we want that. This will help our fuel and stuff, man, make everybody a little bit faster. Yeah, reduces fuel use by 25% and increases the uh, maximum burn by two. Definitely a, it's a buy. Okay, so fleet. Okay, so this is Gwydian. Gwydian, we're going to put you up here for now. Oh, we got that person too. Aggressive. Put you in the Corellian gunship there. Okay, so uh, we need crew. We need a minimum of 680. We're currently at 655. So pick up a couple of hundred. Learn that. Let's see, we're eating up uh, 2.9 supplies a day, so that's good for what? 200 days, couple of months. If we don't do anything special. Okay, so refits. So, hyperdrive. Nope, no points. 
go. Okay, this hyperdrive here, I need nine points. Oh, I guess we could ditch the expanded cargo base too. Some kind of fighters or bombers we have. Oh, no, we already have the light bombers here, so we're good on the victory. And recovery shuttles. Nine points there. Uh, this is uh, reduces the chance of a missile launched by the ship to be affected by electronic countermeasures and flares by 50%. Yes. Here. Put that in there, and then we're going to build that in because it's kind of a deal for a missile ship, I think. And then put those back in. Okay, and new hyperdrive is three points. Mm, interceptor. Gamma class assault shuttles. Gamma class assault shuttle was an Imperial shuttle used to ferry space troopers to, into battle. In a standard operation, a Gamma class assault shuttle would pull up near an enemy ship and take hold of it uh, with either its tractor beam or a uh, power harpoon. It would then launch its uh, space troopers to seize control of the vessel, sometimes creeping the ship or crippling the ship beforehand with their well placed uh, turbo laser shot. Assault shuttle. It's a lot. That's pretty good hull integrity there. Concussion missiles and laser cannons. So what the hell is this thing actually supposed to be doing? Harpoon in space. Well, harpoons would work. You fire the thing into the hull and then you pull yourself close to it so it doesn't get away. It would work. Interdictor bomber. This is the good one. Um, let's see. I think we'll. What should we do? Let's put uh, one of these in storage for now, or put it on a different ship, I guess. Two concussion missiles, two laser cannons, two proton bombs, and four proton torpedoes. That sounds painful. Let's do that there. And up here. Depressor bomber, ion torpedo, concussion missiles, laser cannons, two proton torpedoes. For the points, it's okay. We got more to spend, so cut this down by five. Okay, so this is the Hunter. 500, 305. So the Tide Defender is better, right? Yeah, better hit. Yeah, this is better. It's got more cannons and everything. Let's do that. Okay, so uh, let's see. Hyperdrive, hyperdrive, hyperdrive. No hyperdrive yet. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, 
please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Nee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Happy Saturday. How exactly would a harpoon penetrate plate armor on a spaceship? Maybe it's magnetic. Chilly Silly Willy, welcome to the channel. It's not automated. Veronica's a real person. <laughs> it's a real person. I don't know what you're talking about. She's real. She thinks she's real. That's all that matters. And armor could be ceramic, but what if it's not? Who goes? What if it's not? Where's bulkheads? Uh, we don't have anything really to choose from here, do we? Quad lasers work. No, Veronica, or sorry, not Veronica. Who Cruels needs to know. Hey, Veronica, who is the coolest viewer? Who is the coolest viewer? Let me think about that. I think Kriegs is pretty cool since he has not acted on his road rage. Yet. <laughs> ah, poor Kriegs. Medium turret. Try turbo laser. 188 damage there. Quads, 125, 125. Dun, dun, so your quads there, quads there. Again, we don't have any missiles. Oh, I guess we do. The assault concussions will work. Or the proton torpedoes. So these anti-armor range of 1500 damage is 500 times three. These are 250. Speed is fast. These are fast too though, aren't they? No, speed is only medium. So judgment was a couple of Capital ship grade concussion missile in use by capital ships. Exponentially more powerful than smaller weapons. Okay, so yes. See, he already has some on here. So that works. So again, this is a Corellian gunship. It's not the name they gave it here, but that's what it is. And these are point defense stuff. So, alternating, alternating linked. Okay. So, the thing has decent firepower. So, you got these at three. Oh, this is up top. So, that one's at 360. That one's at 360, and this one's up here. It's point defense 360, that'll work. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, so that one's set. Hyperdrive. This thing needs a hyperdrive. How are we going to hyperdrive on this thing? Let's go take some guns off of it. six points so it's got to be one of the bigger ones oh look now I can shoot stuff
Okay, so hyperdrive. So another little carrier frigate here thing. Well, transport ship, whatever you want to call it. Military systems, that'll work. Shielded cargo holds. What are shielded cargo holds? Can we found on ships that don't always rely on shields to protect their cargo from cosmic radiation? Only a few tweaks are needed to have shielding configured. Or confound long range cargo scans. Oh, so this is like for smuggling. Try system. So, what else do I need to put on this thing? Oh, expanded cargo holds. There we go. I think I even the cargo ships have uh, weapons. Okay, so hyperdrive. And another transport ship. Oh, salvage gantry too. So this helps with uh, salvage and surveying planets, I think. Or just salvage. Salvage, okay. So hyperdrive, expanded cargo. Doesn't really need anything else here. They want to show you something. Okay, just a second. Okay, second, Mrs. Kimpy and the dogs need to show me uh, something. I don't know what. I'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back. She was just telling me how she, the dogs just got home from being groomed. And she told me she saw Scout a fourth time, but it was before noon. So, apparently when she was taking the dogs out to the car to get groomed, the Scout followed them out. So, four times this morning. But that doesn't count for tomorrow, because again, that was before noon. Okay, uh, so, uh, weapon groups. And then I asked, because the dogs are back from the room, and I go, did you get pictures? She goes, no. And But she said, but I took them over to the park, and I went, and you didn't get pictures. That was a perfect opportunity to get pictures. And she just kind of made a face. Anyway, so hyperdrive, expanded cargo. All right, what else would you put on this thing? Nothing really, right? Nothing that's going to matter. Additional bird. Okay. 
It's an Athamana ship. Wow. This ship actually has a lot of points to play around with. Not much to do with them. We got that up there. That's part of it right there. Points short of something. That's two points. Advanced turret gyros. That'll work. Okay. So, hyperdrive. Okay, so hyperdrive, 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 another hyperdrive, more hyperdrive, two, there, and there. Okay, so we went through and uh, redid our fighters a little bit. So we got TIE Defenders and uh, Interdictor Bombers now on the Victory. So a little bit more firepower there out of them. And these guns, this thing's all set up. Okay, this, we played around with the little fighters here. We put a TIE Defender in here and Interdictor Bomber too. So we got a little bit more bomber power. That'll work. And then this has a X or T70X wings. This we can put something better. Maybe another bomber, the oppressor. Or the interceptor. Battle meditation. Oh, let's put that in there. So guns. I think we're all good. This is just kind of thrown together out in the middle of nowhere, right? It's actually got decent guns on it. For a little ship. It's only a cruiser at bat. Yeah, it's only a cruiser. Or maybe it's... No, actually, I think it's only a destroyer. Yeah, it's 30. 30. Actually, no, that's a frigate. <laughs> it's only a frigate. That's a really big-looking frigate. Sensor profile of 30. See, this is destroyer size. That's a frigate. That's a frigate. Oh, wait, that's 40. Sensor profile 45. But again, that's a frigate size. Basically, it was 30, 60, 90, 120. So this is a uh, 90. So this is only a, a cruiser. This is a frigate. These are all frigates. All these ships are frigate size. Thirty, sixty, ninety. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, what do we have to buy then? Oh, look, it's an inserter. Guys, can we, can't really afford much. So we're all set. Talk to a well-dressed woman who needs to sell production slots. So you can need starships, weapons, and so I can provide access to 170,000 credits worth of uh, Nanoforge production, and I'm willing to import your orders for 130% of base cost. So what this does is she will make this stuff for us at a slightly increased uh, cost. Anything we have blueprints for, she'll make for us. So ship holds. Maximum order value, 165,000. All these ships, ugh. So, all the ships we have blueprints for that we might want to get are way out of our price range. What about fighters? Missile boat. So missile boats are four concussion missiles, four proton torpedoes. Definitely need more money.
We don't actually need these sh these fighters right now either. I think we're okay. Yeah, we have tight defenders. We have interdictor bombers there. The Phantom Star Fighters, those are decent. Not the best, but they're decent. These are throwaways. Five points. But they've got the battle meditation, so they make the other fighters around them better. Tie defenders, and then um, more bombers. And this is more interceptors, so more mad battle meditation. Different fighter, same idea. Okay. I think we're good. This guy talk to. You have any work for me? Surplus heavy machinery, surplus nano forge production opportunity. You have a few nano forge slots opening up due to canceled order. You could arrange for a custom production job, ships, weapons, you name it. Six only sixty four thousand credits worth of stuff, but one hundred twenty nine. So basically the same idea as the woman, but a little bit cheaper by 1% and not as much production. Um, so again. Yeah. tempted to uh, get some of this stuff built. Like the interdictors, these are actually pretty nice bombers. I'd say they're pretty comparable to the missile boats. Missile boats are a little bit more durable. But they're not TIEs. Should we just make it that we can only have TIE fighters or TIE based uh, fighters? Or fl flight or squadrons? So again, not as durable. With those proton bombs. I think those hit pretty hard. How do you get a colony to make bigger, stronger fleets? Uh, blueprints. And you need you need heavy industry, and then you want the nano forges, either a corrupted one or a pristine, preferably pristine. Only Imperial fighters. That makes things a little yeah hot ties and stuff. So let's do a couple of those. TIE Avengers. These are interceptors. They're not bad. They're basically uh, kind of like X Wing, but a little bit faster. And then salt. Oh, that's what they saw shuttles. High Predator, Friendly Hunt, High Avenger, so 500, 300, ah, the Interdictor is, oh, that's the Bomber, that one. Okay, so six uh, interdictors and six defenders. We can live with that. <laughs> I can totally live with that. Surplus heavy machinery. Okay, there are 96 units of heavy machinery for blah, blah, blah. Each, if you can help me clear out this warehouse, it'll do me a great favor. Fleets hold can accommodate an additional 3,000 units. Total price is 7,000. You have blah. So what is this? It's 96 units. At 76 per unit. How much are they usually worth? These are 84. So he's selling them to us at a lower rate. So I can do that. Again, we're trying to work up our reputation with him. We didn't. We didn't have an agent on the last game. 
Or the, we haven't actually had an agent actually in any of our Star Wars runs, I don't think. Dun, dun, dun. So that improves our relationship with him as well as with the Empire. Oh, not yet. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. So this heavy machinery that we now have. 500 of it. We don't need 500. Sell half of it. So get a little bit of money back. Okay, so... Supplies. I thought that my administrator was another captain, but we don't need one of those. Okay, I'm be doing for bounties in this area. Bounties. Look at that. System bounty here. Fire is currently hostile to those guys. There's not really no one. No, actually, there's CIS in this. You might be able to find somebody to beat up there. She is currently hiding near a rocky, unstable world in a system with an orange primary star. How many days left on that one? 31. This guy. A rocky, unstable cost, uh, orange primary star in the constellation. And 30 days on that one, too. I'm going to guess they're up there. Although they could be up there, too. They could be either be here. Although it would have set a binary system, I think. We'll take a quick look over there. Because this map, but this isn't going. Oh, 18 days remaining, anyway. Yeah, let's go check this out. And that pirate base is still out there. Wonder if we have enough fire before it. Uh, probably not. Eh, maybe. We got a few more fighters than we had. We could play a pirate too. Looking for a trade fleet to belong back to the CIS or something. It's kind of too close. So we're moving a little bit faster now because of those uh, hyperdrives we upgraded to. We should be going 1820. So. So our fleet's a little faster because of those upgrades. That was worth it. And also the fuel savings too. Okay, so this guy had out near a rocky unstable world. Rocky unstable. Rocky unstable. So. They're not in this system. Barons. They're not here. Ah, oh, there we go. Rocky Unstable World. Where's this one? And, are you hiding? It's in the asteroid belt or something. Ah, oh, there we go.
We haven't surveyed the planet, so we don't know where they are exactly. Where are they hiding? Alright, well, it's Baron Bombarder. All the little tiny planets. Ring and hiding. And watch one to be the right one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Grand Bombarded, Mechanic, Baron, Rock and Stable. Wow, right there. <laughs> We're just not going to see that one. So the CIS and the New Republic are starting to be more friendly with each other. And once again, this is a uh, playthrough. We eliminated all of the base uh, factions, the big ones. We kept uh, the Pirates, Ludic Path, and Independent. But the four other factions are the Star Wars factions, so it's Empire, Old Republic, New Republic, and CIS. Just to make it a little different. Make it a little bit more competitive, I guess. Survey. Mm -hmm. survey. Yes, Star Wars flavor. Okay, so these guys. Get to engage. Yeah, that's everybody. Except for the civilian ships. Don't die. Not exactly a challenge here, <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, that's why we keep the pirates around to show how dominant the empire really is. Ship recovery. Ah, let's see. Nope. Yeah, that's one bounty. The other one was right around here, too. Did we get both of them? We got both bounties. <laughs> they were together. <laughs> you see, 4,300, 44. So they were actually close enough together, so we got grabbed them both. That saved us a lot of effort. What's this? Hundred thousand. So a base. That's gonna be a big base. Yeah, the fighters destroyed them, which is kind of the idea. Bye you. You are forty six grand twenty days. Hiding near a cryo volcanic world in a black hole system. I'm gonna go with right there. 
There's 20 days. We might not get there in time. Let's do transverse jump out. Saturday and Sunday, August 21st and 22 are the monthly giveaways for August. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Saturday, and again, that's next weekend. So, the Cry of Volcanic World. That one. Baron. Let's go check this one out. they're still here there they are so we're gonna stop these guys too oh they're even running so pursue take command oh wow okay because these guys are all frigates we can have them play the intercept game while we chase them with the star destroyer make them think that they're not being chased or that they have a chance. Here, dodge these. <laughs> okay, so this one. Why oh, you guys are slow? Okay, see so what he does. Come on, Corvette. Sorry, gunship. Get closer. You're not close enough. Ship recovery here, right? No. So stuff and another bounty. And we'll survey this while we're here. Wow, 120. No, we're not gonna do that. That's way too expensive for this. It's way too expensive. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So now we need to find, I don't think there's any more bounties in this area. Maybe there is. That's one we just got. This one. 90,000. Oh, this is another base. Hmm. 90 grand. Might be able to beat up on some pirates while we're there. Was it? Ninety. And we can take a look at it and see. Some supplies were good for a while. Fuel, we got plenty. Mm -hmm. So, right now we're just trying to build up our money. Build up our fleet. Empire raid targeting the Republic. Estimated 54, di 54 days until arrival. Maybe we'll go join in that one. It's going to be a while before it's ready, so no rush. Tiny little fleet. Any little feet of a, a cruiser and a bunch of frigates. <gasps> 
try field and we're a short distance away from the exit. Could be hostile in there. That's okay. There we go. So this station is a little bit more reasonable, I think. Come here, pirates. We know you're pirates. That's not going to save you. You pursue them. Missiles. <laughs> so, did they chase anything up here? Nope. So, chances are this thing shouldn't get away. Get him, gunship. Okay, get him, Vukros. Give you all these guns, use them. Shooting the wrong things, Vukros. Just want to point that out. I don't know what you were shooting there, but it wasn't the right thing. bigger ship? Well, loan me a couple million credits and we'll talk. Oh, okay. oh that's right. This is where the station is up here, isn't it? Oh, that's right, there's something we can explore. Oh, no, we can't. Why can't we do anything? Oh, hostile fleet. Pirate Corsair. Preparing for cover. Okay, so this is only a three. The problem is if we do this, we're going to get both of them. Invasion. Faction the Republic held by the Empire. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's kill the ships first. Okay, Lucas is uh, kind of hurting, gonna be hurting there. I'm gonna be hurting here.
So we don't have the best range. We need octuples to be really good here. It's that time again. No, it's not. Some water to keep that brain moist. I'm good. Oh shit, wasn't paying attention. That. Ow, 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 ow. Kill him faster. No, not him. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Venting, get rid of this flux. Dun, dun, dun. More heavy ions? Well, those aren't exactly available at the moment. And there's another ship down for us. So, what do we get to recover? Pursue them. I uh, hurry the retreat. Consider ship recovering. I think, is that the only thing we lost? It looks like that's the only thing we lost. Oh, no. No, that's the Architons. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Of course, you get money for that too. Blueprint. You get a blueprint for. This is resistant flux conduits. Blah. Okay, so. That's not too bad. Yeah, because we only have the five combat ships and they're beat up really good, but they'll be fine. Dumb pirates. Costly. And it's not costly. That's the whole point. It's not. Because <laughs> the ships are... We recovered the ships, and it's all going all it's going to take is time for them to be repaired, which is supplies. Which is not so great, but... Here. Points. Target leading accuracy for... Oh, piloting ship. Coordinate maneuvers. All frigates and destroyers with officers. So, most of our fleet are frigates. So, that'll help them. Grab that. Let's see who leveled up. Who cost us supplies? Yeah, but it's not that big a deal. Guidian. Guidian. Damage control. Right? Strike commander. Uh. Uh, missile, system expertise, point defense, target analysis, gunnery implants. Gunnery implants. Okay, this is nobody with the name. I'm currently in a gunship. Technically, it's a switch Tarkus with Gwydion. Of the fighter stuff. Do that. 
damage control. Uh, another strike commander. I can do that. Armor damage taken, shields too. So maxed out. Okay, so we're going to switch you two around. Tarkus and that one. Okay. That'll work. Okay, so that's taken care of. 90 grand for that. Oh, where's this raid that's going to be happening? So, Invasion, New Republic on the Empire, Zebula Star System. So, it's not that far away. Targeting the Empire, that's a raid. So, this planet's going to need to be defended a little bit. So, the Invasion forces are projected to be fairly strong and are likely comprised of one fleet. They're compared to the defenses, they're evenly matched and evenly matched on the ground too. 16 days. Or assembling in 16 days. So we'll go up there and fly around for a little bit. Go keep them company. Make them feel better about themselves. Make them think that uh, somebody actually loves them. Didn't jump soon enough, ran right into that storm. Dun, dun, dun. Repairs are complete. We're eating up supplies because these guys are still getting combat ready. to each other. <laughs> They're all right next to each other. New Republic hostile. Oh, they'd kick the crap out of us. But we're sneaking right on by. Maybe. Very good. So we want to dump this stuff. So a little bit of money there. See, there's our cost of supplies right there. Our series series astromech droids. So increases engine and weapon repair speed by 70% and decreases the amount of time the ship remains disabled by 50%. Increases combat CR recovery rate and repair rate by 25%. We'll buy those. I don't usually put them in, but it's good to have an option. <laughs> buy all the supplies too. So Jungle World, anything good to buy? ship wise tanker there's a tartan so we need more frigates black market acclimator take up all our money so the immobilizer this is a good way to shut down missiles for fairly Inexpensively. Not sure it's worth two hundred fifty thousand though.
I'd definitely rather have the acclimator. Tartan wouldn't be that bad to have though. It's not that expensive, so buy this. Send you. Oh. <laughs> okay, so laser cannons for now. That's all of them. And missing a couple of spots. What else can I put in there? These are the crappy ion cannons. But it might work. One on each side, firing slightly forward. No turrets on this thing, though. Not just that one up there. There. Dun dun that. Add. Hyperdrive. Force bulkheads and that'll be it for now. Okay. Ions are ions, even if crappy. That is somewhat true because they still do EMP damage. They they still do EMP damage, but these are the crappy vanilla ones, so they don't fire as fast. <laughs> That's the big deal. I don't think they fire as bad, fast. But, you know, they might get the job done on this thing. Did anybody put it in there? No. There. Um, nobody can hire. Strike up a conversation with the shifty woman fiddling with the cyber mod. Cyber mod Jack. Uh, find the latest now. We don't have security codes. Oh, Astromax. So how many supplies do we have? Thousand. Good. So now we get to sit around and try to cut out the trouble. Ah. Hostile fleet. They got a lot of frigates in there. They lost that, it looks like. Let's see what this is. Junk. It's another Lancer. I didn't pay attention how many. Yeah, I had a feeling it might be short on crew. We're we'll adding those ships. Okay, crew. We are short. Oh, but I'm almost a hundred. Do that. I don't think we're gonna be able to outfit this thing very well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, not enough weapons of this, so this is gonna have to sit out of combat for a while. Hey, enough. Welcome back. Join the dark side. We are the dark side. Let's see what kind of salvage we can get up here.
Not very good salvage. Except for that, maybe. So it's another uh, another quasar fire. So we're gonna recover that. Oh shit! He's fighting the station, isn't he? I must bought everything in the in the station there an accident. <laughs> that would have been good. Okay, so that. And we are just over where we need to be. So this thing. Oh, it comes with A-wings. So, uh, hyperdrive. Where's the recovery shuttles? Oh, they're already built in. Bulkheads. Let's do that. Okay, fighter wise, what do we have on us? We've got the hunter, bombers, we have an oppressor. Phantoms. Ty advanced. Phantom fighters or fighters with phase cloaks is just kind of scary, I think. Receptors in there. Take these guys out for regular TIE fighters? No. Throw the phantoms in there. Guess that's a mixed up group, but it's okay. Okay, weapons, medium. Yeah, put the try in there. It's point defense stuff. Which we, again, we don't have a really a lot of This is a regular turbo five point turbo laser. It's not point defense. Huh. Most important thing is that we are on the right side. Left side, right side, dark side, doesn't matter. Droids. Do we can get some guns on this thing? We can still bring it into combat, though, even though it's a little under. Nobody to captain it, though. Oh, that she is. Strike commander. Actually, it should be better. More fighters. Have your Turkish tar troopers taken target practice? Every day. Whether it's helping is a different story, but every day. Hey, bag of water, it is time to take a break. Damn, okay. Go stretch your legs. Give me a second.
Your next break is in two hours. Cruiser. Now is this a cruiser? At 60. Oh, that's just what they call it. It doesn't mean it's a cruiser. This is a cruiser. These are just destroyer size. Anyway. But I'm the one, if so, they are doomed. Hey, don't make me turn you into a rock, Luke Rules. You'll regret it. Okay, not the best place to be buying stuff, I don't think. We need guns. <laughs> Our gun selection here is not good. So trading fleet, patrol fleet, engaged in battle. So I think that station's gonna have a hold up to that fleet. If we come in there we could help, that's for sure. Okay. So before I go on break, who really needs to know? Hey Veronica, who is your favorite pet? Mickey is pretty good. The way he attacks you every morning is hilarious. Especially when he cleans out your nasal cavity with that cute little tongue of his. Okay, there you go. Okay, I need to take a break. Get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, we'll help out our little station here uh, when we get back and see how badly that'll go. So, anyway, be back shortly. Thank you very much for watching.